Hey friends, it's early January and I have exactly 50 days until I hit the trail. So I thought it was high time that I got my AT 2019 through hike gear list out there. Um, it is a day where I would normally love to be hiking, but I have some appointments this afternoon that are keeping me closer to home. And uh, I have taken all my winter gear out of my backpack for my winter hiking that I'm doing in the White Mountains right now. And I have swapped it out for my through hiking gear so that I could show you all what I am doing and uh, evaluate it for myself as well and make sure that I am on point. So first of all, I just wanted to show you, I'm using my Black Diamond Cork Light Carbon Fiber hiking poles with the click lock, quick lock releases and I have my winter baskets on them. I'll swap those winter baskets out once I get through the Smokies for uh, my summer baskets, which are just a little bit lighter and smaller. Um, I am wearing a layering system for my hands, which I have actually been trying in the White Mountains and I've really had good success with it. I am wearing the Possum Down gloves combined with the Z-Pax Vertice uh, Rain mitts that will go over it. My Chalkas hat, which is uh, has a windblock fleece on the inside of it and is really snug and I just really love it. And I have my merino wool buff that I'll be carrying. And you can see here that I have the um, ULA Ohm 2.0 backpack. This is the same pack that I used on the long trail. And I have on the z Packs rain shell which I really like. Um, it's snug on the waist, which is a problem for curvy women. You only have a men's size, but it does have zip pits. And I have been wearing this as my outer, my hard shell outer layer, hiking in the White Mountains this winter. And I've really liked it. Um, I am using the Patagonia vest, which has another Napoleon pocket on the inside, which are really helpful when hiking because you really can't get to these waist pockets. And this one's just so easy for keeping things that you need to have warm next to your body, whether it's your water filter or um, your phone. So this uh, can get wet as I sweat when I hike and it will still keep me warm, whereas my down will not. Under that, I have a Smart Wool 250 layer uh, base layer and I have treated all of my clothing from here on out um, except for my bra and underwear by inch sex shield. I had everything sent away and they sent it back to me within about a week. It was a pretty quick turnaround and everything should stay tick and mosquito free for 70 washings which I'm not anticipating I'm going to get many more washings than that while I'm on the Appalachian Trail. So it should all work out just great. So this is my base layer. And under that, I have a Smart Wool t-shirt. And under that, I have a Smart Wool bra. So the beauty of the uh, wool, as we all know, is that it um, continues to keep you warm when you're wet, but it's antimicrobial as well, so it doesn't smell as bad as the polyester, which really just, I found over time, really gets rank. So uh, I'm happy with this solution. Underneath that, I'm gonna be starting with my Marmot Scree pants, and they are a soft shell. Um, they have two pockets, and then they also have another pocket on the leg. And they're not zip-offs. Um, I don't need zip-offs for this time of year. Uh, I feel like these are gonna give me that little extra water repellency that I will need during the wet winter months down in the Smokies and down south of that. And um, I will then, once I am out of snowy weather, switch to a rain skirt that I will layer with either leggings or compression shorts, depending on the season and how warm it is. And under that, I have another base layer, Smart Wool 250 um, base layer leggings. Next is my feet. And I have a pair of Dirty Girl Gaiters, which are over some Merrill sneakers that I have. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these sneakers or my Topo Athletics. Um, I still have to decide on that. But I do have the lake, the lock laces, which are the elasticized laces that are really easy to get on and off. And I have um, 
These are smart wool socks, but I also have darn tough socks and I have my Njinji wool liners underneath there. So that is my complete winter clothing setup. What's in my pack? So I have the Lightsmith seat. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the Z seat and these panels are a little bit bigger, which I liked. Uh, I'm not sure it's gonna be as durable as the Z seat though, but I do have a Z seat so I can send for that if I need it. My big back pouch, I have closed up with a Beaner locking system that I got from Dutchware Gear. Um, Dutch has some amazing hardware items. I was feeling concerned that this big back pouch was just wide open. And even though it's elasticized, um, I have some pretty expensive items in this back area that I just don't want to risk um, losing. So this beaner locks into a plastic loop on the other side. You just thread it through and you don't have to cut the material. Um, the pack stays good as good, good as new. And I can also use the beaner to hang things off of so I can keep my pack backpack closed. Um, I have some chains and spikes that I'm going to be bringing, uh, probably to the Smokies and at the Smokies, I will swap these out for my Catula micro spikes. Um, living and hiking in New Hampshire, I have had lots of opportunity to try different things. I wouldn't use these for real snow, but for some black ice and even white ice um, and for just, you know, an inch, half inch of snow, these are fine. The cleats are really short um, and I may actually use a Dremel tool to sharpen these up before I go, but uh, the my Catulas are really what I will be using in the Smokies and I will have those sent to me, but I'm going to have these as an insurance policy with me before that. I have my uh, tarp here to be used with my hammock system. This has a snakeskin on it and it is the Winter Palace by Hammock Gear. Uh, I believe it's an 11 foot tarp with doors and it's got some Dutch wear bling on it. And my other item is my rain skirt that I'll have back here. And this is from z -Packs. Um in addition to using it as a rain skirt, it will also be used as a ground cloth. So over here, I will start off in the winter months with this opaque Nalgene bottle. Um, I'm only planning to load up with one liter of water while I'm hiking during the day to save myself some weight. If I need more, then I'll, I'll add more. But um, in the winter, one of my bottles will be this empty Nalgene bottle that I'll carry with me during the day and I will have extra water with me at camp at night and to have for the mornings before I hit the trail again. Um, the advantage of the Nalgene bottle over the life water bottle is that um, this will hold hot water. So I can use this as a hot water bottle at night when I'm sleeping to help keep myself warm. And I have a new to me CNOC bag, which I have not used yet, but is lightweight and has been getting good reviews. So I'm gonna start off with that two liter bag and the Sawyer Micro. Um, I keep my uh, squeeze or micro, my Sawyer products in a Ziploc bag. And that way there's always extra water in it after you're done filling up. Um, the water won't go into my pack or into if I have this in my chest pocket or in my sleeping bag at night, um, I won't get wet as a result. Uh, so I do have a full size squeeze at home that I can send home for if the flow rate with this turns out to be a problem, which some people have talked about, um, but I'd like to see for myself how it is. Um, so that's that. And here's a water bottle. Over here, I have my Garmin InReach Mini. I have this pouch, I believe it's from Z-Packs, which has my uh, headphones in it. Right now, it has my Gorilla Pod, which probably will just hang off of my sternum strap. Um, and my cell phone will go in here so it's easy to get to. And any other odds and ends that I feel like I need uh, for the day. And one more outer pack. 
I have my toileting supplies. I have a little packs of um, 10 wet wipes uh, and a pea style all in a Ziploc bag. I will also have toilet paper in here and I will have, um, well, I have it in here already. I'll show you. I carry just like little thin grocery bags with me that I can put um, used uh, toilet paper and wet wipes. In. This, these are my stakes and my hanging system for my um, hammock. And they say you pack your fears. Well, on the long trail, I learned that I really didn't like being soaking wet for hours and days on end. So I am bringing a, um, this is my Six Moon Design um, umbrella and my waist pouches. My right one, I always keep snacks in. That will be where my lunch and snacks are kept. And on my left pocket, let's see what's in here. I carry a can of Trader Joe's Head to Toe Balm. Um, this stuff, a can of it can be used for my dry feet. It can be used for chapped hands. It can be used as a hair balm for, um, you know, instead of using um, hair products just to keep my frizzies down. Uh, people even use it for lips as lip chapstick. So I really like this. It looks heavy. It's two ounces. It's really not that heavy. Um, I have like 10 of these containers and I'm going to have one sent to me whenever I run out because I really, really value this. Um, I also use it in conjunction uh, to do a little bit of Graston on myself. I have this little tool um, that's used to help rub out any areas that are sore um, and this uh, head to toe balm um, will help lubricate that area. So I have my Purell, a little tiny chapstick, which I probably won't carry because I have my heel to toe balm. I have my Nightcore NU25 headlamp with the modification of the strap that I made. And I also just have a little tiny Leatherman. First is my puffy. I have a hoodie puffy, which has uh, some stretch under the arms and it vents there as well. Um, this is, I believe the brand is Halgens, Hal Haglofs, which is a European brand and I got it in the REI garage years ago. Really like this puffy, very lightweight. Um, my bag has a mesh pocket that hangs from the inside that I like to keep little odds and ends that are small that I want to get to during the day. I have my bag full of medicines and ibuprofen. I have my wallet with a debit card, credit card, insurance card, um, my ID, and a couple dollars in cash. So it's as simple as that. And I also carry my little repair kit and medical kit. Um, as well. All right, my food bag is next. My food bag also serves as my ditty bag. I carry everything in here that's little that needs a home so it's not just um, sloshing around in my pack. I carry two uh, little grocery bags with me that I will use to pack out my uh, toilet paper, but um, will also use for anything I needed. If I have wet gear that I need to keep in my sleeping bag with me at night, I'll put them in here. They're so lightweight and so versatile. Um, I have my little toiletry bag, which has very few items in it. Um, has a toothbrush with a little cover on it. Has some earplugs, um, some Aquaphor, and let's see what else. Toothpaste, a little tiny packet of Q-tips, um, five q-tips in here and a little thing of floss and I just have it in a little mesh pouch that something else came in that I'm just reusing it so it keeps this kind of all together I have my titanium spoon with the smooth bowl I have my electronics bag and in this I have a dual port USB this is a, a five volt, uh, so it gets more electricity than the standard one that comes from Apple. And it's got the Smart IQ, which um, is a faster charging. 
So I have that with me. I also have um, a 13,000 milliamp charger with two USB ports and it's got the quick charge as well as the regular charging cord. Um, you may have noticed all of my gear, <laughs> it's kind of has orange duct tape on it and that's just to identify what's mine. Um, it's one thing that I learned when my kids were young and they were involved in sporting activities where everybody had the same gear, that if we put an identifying color on it, it was easy to figure out which cords are mine if they're in a wall at a restaurant and there's all sorts of other through hikers there. It's easy enough for me to figure out what's mine just by looking at the orange duct tape that's on it. So I have the lightning cord for my cell phone and I have, um, this is the charger for my headlamp, which is used for USBs. And I also just have this little uh, cord that can be used on the end of headphones um, for my cell phone. And for my cell phone, I have an iPhone XS, uh, just so you know. And I will have one more fast charge cord, USB cord with me. So that's my electronics. Um, in the winter months, I will have three pairs of hand warmers with me. Uh, I have my bear bag, just a repurposed silicone bag. I think a pack cover came in this that has some slick line in it and a little tiny beaner. So there you go. That's my bear bag. And my cook. I have a Snow Peak titanium mug with little silicone handles on it and a koozie that I have made out of Reflectix. I have a lid that I got off of an old jet boil that works perfectly on here. I carry my little Snow Peak um, stove and the sole spark. Um, I use this instead of a um, lighter. It makes a spark and that's all that I need. I don't need a lighter for anything else. Um, bandana, I like for eating, I like to either put it down uh, to have things clean um, as a like a placemat or just for cleaning up afterwards. So that's with me. And then I'll have four season fuel with me. Lest you think that Pushy Life does not have trail shoes, I do. These are emojis off of Amazon. I think they were like $10, really inexpensive. They're half the weight of Crocs, but you can see that they look like Crocs. And I just put some um, cord, some shock cord through them to make a little heel. It's the same stuff that I used for making my modified headband on my um, Nightcore. So there you go. That's how I'm keeping those babies on. But they're like six ounces. So in my pack, I have a Nyla Flume, a clear Nyla Flume bag that you can get from Lightsmith. And in that, I have a, a waterproof Dyneema bag with my hammock gear zero degree quilt. With a sewn foot box. I figured any time that I'm out and it's tempting zero degrees, I want a sewn foot box. So this one, you can see you get them made in any color you'd like. And I've been having really good luck with this so far. I've had it down to about 15 degrees this winter and it's been very toasty warm. So, and this is in my hammock. I will swap this out. I have a 40 degree hammock gear quilt that um, is open at the toe box and I will swap this out once I feel like it's warm enough and 40 degrees is all that I need at night. And that will save me some weight. Another bag, another Hyperlight Mountain Gear bag that I have turned into um, what's called like a bishop bag. Um, this actually has my underquilt and my hammock, which are set up together inside of here. So all I have to do when I get to camp and I put up my tree straps on the, the tree, I can go ahead and uh, use my cord, hook that up, and then unravel and pull out the other end of my hammock. This has a 20 degree hammock gear under quilt on it, which I've been really happy with. 
but I'm, I'm just trying this setup of having everything put together in one so that I don't have to hang my under quilt every night. Um, this is the Dutchware Chameleon hammock that's inside of this with the winter uh, covering over the top of it. And I do have a uh, fly net that I will swap that out for once it's warm enough. But I have liked having that winter covering. It creates a little, um, a little microclimate, if you will, that has some net in it so that you can still breathe and not get condensation inside of it. So this is what I am starting out with. And there you go. Finally, at the very bottom, once I've set up my hammock at night, is my clothes bag, my extra clothes. This is probably the heaviest thing that I'm carrying. It's heavier than any of my quilts or my hammock. Um, but again, it's packing my fears. Uh, this is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear bag that has fleece on the inside that can be used as a pillow. I'm not sure I will or not. Um, I have an extra pair of Injinji liners, an extra pair of Darn Tough socks. I have um, a second pair of underwear, and I have the Seal Skins waterproof socks. Again, that whole thing of not wanting to be soaking wet. These actually work really well. This is a 150 base layer by Smart Wool that's been treated with insect shield again, when your things come back from insect shield, they will have tags on them, or if they're socks, they will actually have it ironed on uh, that it's been treated with insect shield. I did not know that, that was a surprise to me. I have my feathered friends down booties, which are super warm and uh, likely will go home with my zero degree bag when that goes home, but they're super warm. They're not for walking around at camp, they're really just for sleeping in, but, um, they do a nice job. And I have my 150 base layer pants for sleeping in as well. And that is it. So I told you I'd let you see what's inside my little ditty bags. My little, this is my repair and first aid kit. I have an extra gasket for uh, my smart water bottle. I have just a little toggle and an extra little mitten hook for using with my hammock system, um, an extra water bottle cap, and I have some moles, some of the thick moleskin cut out into little circles. Sometimes I have bunions on my feet and sometimes when I put this underneath the bunion on my foot, it raises it in a way that makes it more comfortable for walking. I'm not sure, I used to use this when I ran and it worked really well, um, helped prevent neuromas and other things that uh, would happen. Um, I'm not sure if I'll need it, but I have it with me just to try. A little bit of extra cord with a line lock on it and some eye drops. Uh, I have some Biofreeze and antibiotic cream. And then I have a variety of band-aids with me, different sizes, some butterfly band-aids and fingers and um, the things that I like the most are my Compede bandages that are used for blisters. Uh, really like those and have found them to be really useful. They stay on for three to four days, even when you're showering with them and they're soaking wet, they stay on and they're cushioned and they prov provide a really nice uh, cushion for your blisters. I have some rock tape, K-tape with me uh, in case my injuries flare up with my legs and just an extra piece of elasticized cord. And then I have a little tiny repair kit with me. It's just the plastic uh, pouch, which has uh, some duct tape on it. It has a needle and um, safety pin. It's got some patches in here from, for my uh, inflatable sleeping pad, which I will not have with me unless I end up swapping my sleep system out for whatever reason. Um, I have some tenacious tape and I also have the Dyneema tape to use for my tarp or any of my gear bags that may spring a leak. And then in my medical kit, I don't have a whole lot, but I have some Tums, some Pepto-Bismol, 
some Benadryl, ibuprofen, and I will also have Imodium in here. And uh, then I will, um, in my food resupplies, I will have my daily meds sent to me that I take every day. So this will just always be with me. All right, so that's about 14 pounds and uh, I feel pretty good with it. It's stuff that I've all used except for the water bladder is the only thing that I haven't used before. Everything else has been with me on multiple camping trips and some of it has done the long trail with me. And um, I'm ready to get this party started. It feels like there's a lot of waiting around right now. Um, but when I'm seeing the snow coming down as lightly as it is, I'm kind of glad to be inside a nice warm house today. So we'll look forward to hearing your input and uh, getting out and using this stuff in 50 days. Take care.